beside the helping people with the weather, um, you, I mean, uh, every year you, you give them yourself in so many ways, like no limits with Kathy Buckley. Oh, uh, well, I, here, here's, here's my feeling about that. I've always been involved in nonprofits. That's what's filling up my retirement, really. I'm on the board of three nonprofits, and I, it fills my heart. It's my favorite part of my job. Right. And I always say, uh, when, you're, when you're in the television business, and this will happen to you, Jasmine, when you get your job and people start to recognize you as being on TV, you will be invited to participate in things like AIDS Walk because having your face there helps them to generate publicity. And it's so easy for you to show up at the AIDS Walk LA, stand on that reviewing stand and be seen by other people because it gives the organization credibility and you're helping them. And it's effortless. All you had to do was show up. So having you there is a gift. So in my opinion, it would be immoral for me to not be able to at very little uh, cost to me, go help these organizations and allow them to use my name and my recognizability as a way to forward their cause. It's my favorite and, thing. And he does a fabulous job of that too. Oh my God, it's my favorite human. <laughs> I, I, I love this man gives of his time, his heart, doesn't ask for anything in return. Um, I'm greedy when he works with me at No Limits. All I want is my hugs. I just got to have my hugs for and my- And we're getting ready to do another one really soon. I'm so- On happy. the 9th, right? Yeah, yeah. on the Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. But he's just, he's just an incredible human being. And I just love him so much. And who is this girl from Hawaii? And so, Jasmine, this is another woman you should make your hero. I don't know if you know Kathy. Kathy. This woman is magic. She has- Hi, darling. She Hi. has the most beautiful heart of any human being I've ever met. Children love her uh, because of her own challenges in her life and some, you should look her up on the internet and see what she's been through and had to conquer. But she's the person you want to emulate. That's why we're enough, enough kissing butt here. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm fine. Is that your house? Is that your own uh, Zoom background there? That's pretty yeah. impressive. It looks like a, a comedy club in Cincinnati. If you see behind these curtains, my bud, you're going to see a big mess. So. That's okay. <laughs> is it Actually, your closet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Can, is, there's something I wanted to add if it's okay. Um, I also, like the reason that I do say that I love helping people, I um I have donated food to the Feed Soul Cal Food Drive with ABC7 in 2018 and 2019, and I donated in 2020, obviously, so... Well, I mean, you're the kind of person I would want working for me if I were a boss. You have a beautiful spirit. You're enthusiastic. You love to help people. And I don't care what you want to do for a job. You're going to find no better employee than one that has all those qualities. You're very, very sweet, Fritz. You're I... going to be fine. You're going to be I'm going to email Danny Romero and tell him that he needs to get you a job immediately. That's right. We'll see you on the news next week, yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, tell Danny I send my regards. I miss him. I miss everybody. Oh, no, I, I will. Uh, of course I will. Send my regards. Do you spell your name J-A-S-M-I-N-E? Um, no, it's Yasmin. It's oh, I'm, I'm so here. I've been calling you Jasmine. You've been patient with me all day. So oh, is it Y-A-S-M-I-N-E? Without the E. It's just Yasmin. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I also wear flowers too. I didn't, nobody gave me that. <laughs> it's it's in, in the mail. Memo. <laughs> that looks I so cute. I have beautiful hair. I'm wearing a tree on my head. <laughs> Gosh. I'm so, no Yasmin, do, do you enjoy uh, watching the news or reading the news online? What, what, Where do you go to get your information, like news information? I'll be honest. I immediately turn on ABC7 whenever i guess whenever i have the chance to watch the 3 p.m mm -hmm. the 4 p.m or even like the 5 or 6 p.m hour okay so it's mostly okay. tv or even on social media as well following sure. their accounts as well okay. or um also looking up articles too well that's that's what you have to do yes i have a question for fritz and kathy i know that you've known each other for years where did you meet 
You oh. know, the thing about Kathy is if I were a little more, uh, less of a weird human being, I'd probably be married to her right now. No, it doesn't matter. I, in my own mind, we'd be married. We've been friends for a long time. We work together in the clubs. We, we, I, we do lots of nonprofit work together and we're just friends. Yeah. We're soulmates. I'm so honored to have this woman as my friend. I can't tell you. She oh. is as good as a human being can be and still be human. Yeah, they'll go both ways. It's, I don't know. I cannot honestly tell you the first time we met. I, I, thought, I think it was the ice house. It could have been. I mean, it's, it's, it's been like you've been in my life, my whole life as my friend. I mean, mm -hmm. I've always been respectful and loving and caring toward each other. And we both would give to the community mm -hmm. every time possible. Mm -hmm. She does so much work for people in her public speaking around the United States. Uh, uh, she helps. It's impossible to count the number of people she helps on a yearly basis. She's always on a plane doing inspirational talks for kids and adults all over the world, all over the United States and on the Internet. How many how many hits do you have on your little things from Facebook now? A couple of million, I'm sure. Millions of hits I mean, from my videos that went viral. Yeah. Over a hundred million. God. And these are little tidbits to help make your you get you have to look her up, Yasmin. She's pretty pretty amazing. Uh, well apparently there was nothing good on TV that week, and that's only <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Well, I tell you, if you ever do get married, I want to hold the train. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the next show, I'll, I'll, I'll bring Danny as my plus one. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I love this woman too much to marry her. I, I <laughs> well, I tell you, Kathy, to me is, I, she, Kathy, you have gotten me and out of so much, you have healed me. I mean, I went through a physical, um, altercation if that's the word you know with um getting hurt on the set and every week i came she says come over to my house and we swam in her pool she fed me i mean such i i'm healed by you kathy so Dude, i think that, that that is the best best explanation of the person she is well that was i i it's hard to make a meal for two, for one <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's all have a, a party at your house then. That sounds good. <laughs> Yasmin, do you have any more uh, questions? Let me see if Yasmin has any more questions. Yeah, yeah. I actually don't have any questions at the moment. I'm just like taking this all in, just having fun, name dropping Danny. I hope oh, so. I did, it again. I did it again. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's good. No problem. Where do you live, Yasmin? I am from Inglewood, home okay. of the SoFi Stadium, pretty much. Nice. And she goes to Performing Arts Studio West? Yes, they do. Forgot oh, about that. Cool. <laughs> Which is uh, what we have on today. We have the students from Performing Arts Studio West going to be watching this and Meet the Biz and YouTube Land. So, was, so good. Uh, I didn't get to hear what was, Jasmine, what was your dream? I didn't get to hear it. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Well, my dream, I've already mentioned this to David and Fritz as well. I really want to become the first broadcast journalist with Asperger's syndrome or high functioning autism to be on ABC7. Okay. Well, have you have you told them that? I think that's very impressive. I think if you told them that, it would be in their mind forever. I mm. have mentioned it a lot of times. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, this is amazing. Now you, fit for hits. I mean, you have this new podcast out too, right? Media Path. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not really mine. I'm just kind of the co-host. Right. It's my friend Louise Palanker, who produced two of my one-person shows, and she started a media company, and she's an entrepreneur, and she directed a, a, a documentary film about the Calcio family, which is still on Prime Video, and she's just a really accomplished woman, and asked me to be her co-host, and I love to talk to anybody about anything, so I'm doing it, and I'm really enjoying it. Well, I watched it the other day and I was like, oh my God, you have all the intricacies of everything. And it was like, I want to watch this every week. Just it's fun. It's fun. It's Thank really you. Fun. Thank you. Yeah. Now, this is a question for all of you. What brings you the most joy in life? Kathy? Kids. 
There you go. It's kids, laughter, um, people, people in general, whatever. I believe that all of us, no matter how much we age, if we keep the child alive within us, we can always act like a child because that's where the joy comes from, the heart. Beautifully said. I just enjoy doing things for other people. I enjoy making a difference, big or small, in somebody else's life. To me, that's what it's all about. I have been so lucky in my career, it's ridiculous. It would be a mortal sin for me not to want to give back to this life that's given me so much joy. Seriously. We're truly blessed, Beth. We're no beautiful. question. How about you, Yasmin? Well, what brings me the most joy is just being with people that are positive and not negative. I'll be honest about that. I Good. love people. Yeah, it's just that I don't want to surround myself with negativity. I feel like for some reason I function more with like happy people and whatnot, like just grouping around and living, you know, our best life. Everybody does. That's so important. Everybody feels better around people that are, and we're in a very dark world right now. So it's easy to not think about that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm there with it, with, with you all. It's about the people that we surround ourselves with. Yeah. Um, and, and again, the, the love of, of giving to others. It's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what we're here for. We're not supposed to be selfish. With the no. Correct. Right. right. What about, uh, what about you, Roberta? What brings you joy? Oh my God. <laughs> if she's in the pool, I'm leaving. Oh my God. She's oh my in the God. bathtub, right, Roberta? I'm here. Oh, uh, Roberta, I'm here. Are, you, are you in the bathtub? Where's my sister? I'm here. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, I hope I don't see nobody in no bathtubs. I'm just saying. I'm oh, no, no, no. We're just kidding around. Yeah. <laughs> Here I am. So, hey! Roberta. Wait, wait a minute. You... Down a little bit, girl. Hold on. You hold on. Wait a minute. You told me this is going to be Jay Leno. What, what is it? <laughs> uh, I, put, I put on. I put on a bra for Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I put on a bra for Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> I have no comment. <laughs> but it's about what's his name, Danny. Oh my God. Why uh, do I hey, Roberta. Roberta. Yasmin. Yasmin, Roberta. Hi, Hi, Yasmin. Hey, Roberta. How are you? So, uh, so what's the deal? Hawaiian or what's what's with the motif? <laughs> I'm just looking good. I'm Hispanic. I gotta wear my bra. Well, you know, I almost wore the same thing, so I'm really, really happy about it. I wasn't happy with the color of the flowers that I was wearing. That was the only problem. You're wearing flowers for pants. Interesting. David, we're the comedians, David. <laughs> okay, I know, I'm not. <laughs> you know, this isn't jump in any time, David. This is prison time. I'm just here being weird and funny at the same time, just an FYI, y'all. Wait a minute, Fritz is starting to look like Jay, like Jay, like David Letterman. No, 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 I'll stop before I get to Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> this will go away pretty soon. I'm just, I just wanted to see if I had the hormones to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I do, I had to shave this morning. I know. <laughs> Look how pretty Kathy is. This she show. looks fantastic. I'm she's the best lighting of any Zoom call I've ever been on. I, I tell you, you know, she's getting ready to do her big annual event. Both of them. Yep. No limits. No limits. The, I like, the butterflies are nice, David. I like that's a nice touch. Thank you. I I uh, you know I I yeah. I, it's my mom's, and she says you want it, and I love butterflies. Butterflies and Hummingbirds. Okay, I only said I like the butterflies. Don't go. <laughs> Fritz, what's going on? What are you up to, Fritz? So I'm just trying to get some bookings going again. I've got one down in uh, Newport Beach tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to performing again. Is this your first time out? No, no, I've done a, a couple. This is a this is a dinner, so this will be fun. Oh, good. I hope I don't fall off the stage. I got a cataract removed yesterday. And uh, it, it, it's improved my vision so much that my right eye needs work and this eye is perfect. And so now it's, I'm getting adjusted. 
You know, you know, Fritz, we had, uh, growing up, we had two cataracts. We had one in the garage and one was out parked out. Of <laughs> My father's favorite joke. We had two cataracts. One was, one was parked out. <laughs> but Yasmin, this is all about you. If you could have the job, well, if, if, if we would grant you any wish right now for a job or for a certain lifestyle, what would that wish be? Oh my gosh, that is very hard. You're putting me now on the spot, Fritz, but- Oh, obviously... no, 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 just fantasize. <laughs> Tell me, you know, you'd like to be on ABC7 of the 5, 6, and 11 o'clock news. Mm -hmm. you'd, you'd like to be doing street reporting, and then you'd like to anchor on the weekends. You'd be an anchor, and your co-anchor would be Danny Romero, and you would be- <laughs> You'd be on at, at five and eleven o'clock, and then and then uh, you would work your way up to news director at the station, and then you would become independently wealthy and retire, and then you would speak to young children after you became successful. Oh my gosh, that is um. Oh my Does that God. sound good? That's that sounds that great. I got it all planned out for you. Kathy, <laughs> what's you doing for us, Kathy? <laughs> What do you do for us, Fritz? Uh, listen, you stick with me, girls. It's it's only going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that about ten years ago. <laughs> Yasmin, did you uh, did you go to a, a a regular high school or did you go to a uh, a different place? Um, I went to public high school, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, I went to. No, no, no. I'm I'm just talking about you. You've already revealed to us that you have some special considerations, your Aspergers and everything. And I just wondered if if you had to be, uh, uh, if you had a regular high school education, which is good, because having a public school education will help you understand what's important to people out in the world. You know what I mean? When you become a reporter, and and it will be important to you. I'm glad you had that experience. Pretty much I did. Yeah, I went to um, Lawndale High School. I'm just name dropping, you know, my, you know, my former high school, pretty much. I did have um, regular classes, but they were like with special ed services. Pretty much. And I graduated on time also in 2015. What, what, what attracted you to Performing Arts Studio West? Oh, that's a good question. So I, I'm, I think at first, I'm not sure what attracted to me with it. It was more of like the film and, um, acting side I think at the beginning it was very very intriguing at first and I think with time I guess being there for I don't even know how long I've been there it just feels like you know quite a while since 2016 actually I just feel like I had like I don't want to say I had a good run but I'm still having that good run so far yeah and is that I, an after school thing David or what is that no it's nine to what did it ten 10 to um, three every day, Monday through Friday. Oh, wow. And for the last, you know, during the pandemic, we've been online. So we have acting, uh, dancing, uh, singing classes. Wow. Uh, and then of course we bring in the Meet the Biz where we have people from the industry come in and uh, visit. Um, so it's quite a, quite a nice family. We have over a hundred students. How, how many students do you have? Over a hundred students. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, now I, I came on late. What does Yasmin do exactly? Besides look cute. Yasmin. Well, Yasmin can tell you. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be very, very honest, but I love to sing. Acting. I don't. I don't know how to say this. I feel like with acting, it's not like my strongest part of it, but I do like you know put everything on the line and I love to dance as well, but mostly singing is my favorite favorite thing to do being in performing arts. Mm -hmm. So what is your connection to Fritz? That's what I don't understand. Unless Kathy, you know something I don't. No, no, she wants to be a broadcaster. She would like to be in broadcast news. So David just gave her this opportunity to ask me some questions and we've been having a fantastic visit. Well, yes, then, we have say, then she's been on already, dump her. Oh no. <laughs> Well, no dumping on this show. <laughs> unless it's me dumping, no, unless it's me dumping Danny, that's entirely different, but it's not going to happen. Oh. I'm kidding, honey. So, so you want to do weather? Um, I want to actually, I mentioned it already at the beginning now that you're in here, but originally, originally I did want to be in meteorology, but for some reason, 
I was terrible at math in high school, but I'm good at science. So I ended up just switching up to the journalism broadcast communications side of it. I'm not giving up on my dream whatsoever. I love the broadcast journalism world a lot. Fritz, Fritz, give her all, give her all your ties, Fritz. I'm great. <laughs> I don't have a reason to. Wait, by the way, I have them hanging in my closet, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I seriously That's do. That's so funny. <laughs> There she got. There you it know, is. I have I have no doubt that this girl, like up, if though. somebody just gives her a chance, she's going to be on her way in no time. Yeah. No so question about it. I have a, a one question for all of you. Hmm. What what is your uh, next big thing, Kathy? Oh, what my next big thing? Yeah. No limits. No limits. We have our big gala this coming Saturday. I get to be with my best bud. Yeah. And then, um, then I have the Palmissa Gala on the following Tuesday, and then I hit the road on Wednesday, and I'm on the road for the rest of the month. Oh, my right. God. You just have the galas one right after the other. She's unbelievable. She spends too much time in airplanes. Yeah, so, well, I love peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> what about you, Roberta? I'm going to the kitchen in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you eating? Hey, so when are they going to start doing stand-up at Vitello's again, Roberta? Well, you know something, unfortunately, you know, they are, you know, upstairs. And now they've made it sold out is now 80 people. Whereas when, when we did it, sold out was like 147. Wow. I did it enough times. But they took out the long tables. But you know something between you and I, it's still a petri dish waiting to happen up there. Yeah, you know, yeah. There, there's no windows. There's no. There's the one exit, the stairs. You know, so it's eighty people is sold out. My next door neighbor, they went to see uh, Michael Feinstein. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah, and it was like seventy five dollars a ticket. And the exciting part for them was Liza Minnelli was there, and she got up and sang with him. Oh, wow. Well, that's that, pretty that cool. was worth their 75 bucks, that's for sure. Yeah, that, that's the kind of stuff that'll give the room a reputation, too. Yeah, that's it. I mean, what they want me to do, Fritz, you know, is is the pajama thing on... Uh, Let's go. That's for, that's for the uh, the Sunday brunch, you know? Let's go. I know, but it's still going to be up there, and it's... Are uh, they going to... Are they going to... When are they going to bring back the Sunday brunch? I think they're, they did. I think. Oh, they, Okay. But the thing is, it's all, you know what I mean? That you can have outside. They're still serving outside. Yeah, uh, we, I, you know, I went with Jerry, Jewel, the other night, and we went outside, and it was, you Yeah, know, they did a great job with their parking lot. There, oh, really. it's great. Yeah. It's great. And, you know, I really s sincerely believe that by the first of the year, we'll be able to do this. I'm, I'm scheduled for my, my booster shot on the 14th. I got mine. Good for you. I'm glad you're doing it. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, they say you can go to any CVS and they'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, but Moderna doesn't have the booster shot out yet. I oh my, no, Moderna doesn't. But I, I think it's coming up soon. Yeah. Wait, and then you got to get wait a minute. At, at, at our age, then you got to get the shingle shot. Then yeah. you got to get the flu shot. Then you then, and then, then you got to get the pneumonia oh, shot. Then you get the pneumonia shot, and then you die. <laughs> 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 no. Then you die. That's it. Then you then you die. That's it. Oh no. No, everything's gonna be. You know, it's it's uh, it is what it is. You know, it's it's too many. It's a lot of big functions with a lot of people. And now the holidays are coming up, and it's it's scary. Yeah. It's scary. You know, I'm I'm a big Dodger fan, and uh, have you been to the stadium? You know, Bert and Mary asked me to come again, and you know they're in the best seats. You know, right behind the pitcher right behind the uh, batter rather. Mm -hmm. And I'd done it three times. It's like it was on my bucket list, but there's 51,000 people screaming, yeah. not wearing the mask yeah. and then the parking lot and everybody's drunk at the end. And it's like, I can lay in bed, have a fudgical, be naked, go to the bathroom, come back. You know, what am I aggravating myself for? You know, it's like ridiculous. And then I get it over again. They showed over again in case I missed it. And so it's, uh, yeah. No, it's going to be a while. It's, it's just going to be a while. Well, what I can't wait for is when we can all go back and see the three of you performing again. Yes. Whether, you know, together. It'll be a big night in show business. Uh, <laughs> right. And have a dinner. Awesome. Eat, if nothing else, a dinner. A dinner would be nice too, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> My poor 
my dinner again? Waha, waha. Dinner again, and we got to set a chair now for Jasmine. Yasmin, rather. Jasmine's for Disney. Yasmin, and uh, and uh, this is our new little friend. And I think you're gonna, she's got a future. You got it. Oh, keep, definitely. Yeah. Yes, and you're talking to the right guy. Fritz is the best. There isn't, oh. there's so many people that miss you. Oh, that's so sweet. Really oh, my gosh. Well, I have to say, this is what I call extended family. So thank you all. You're so welcome. Wait, wait, Yasmin, wait. it was an honor to meet you. And I can't wait till Channel 7 announces your employment and puts you on the air so I can applaud for you in the privacy of my own home. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm like blushing again. I already got emotional already with- That's all right, no problem. Jasmine, continue to believe in yourself, follow exactly. your heart, and don't ever take no for an answer. That's exactly what I told her, but it has more credibility coming from you. <laughs> That's exactly what I told her. Did you hear it? You're so right. Well, I'm not needed here, so. Oh, no, you are. You are so needed, always. Um, well, thank you all. Fritz, okay. thank you, thank David, you. David, I, I apologize from the bottom of my heart that I missed the start of this thing. Please. No, 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 no. We, we, uh, Yasmin and I had a little nice Yasmin visit. So. Well, he, messed up, he, went, he messed up my whole day. <laughs> I, I was supposed to be in the pool by tw by one. No, I, I I thought that's where you were going to talk to us. No, I got a cataract out yesterday, and I had to put a hot compress on my eye for a half hour. And I laid down to do that. When I get horizontal with a hot compress, I'm out. I fell asleep, and I missed the start. I heard no. that about you, Fritz. I a <laughs> old hot compress. I'm right a there. fun date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you know it's something. First of all, let's just say anything for Fritz. I mean, God bless you. I think I'm, it's so, I'm so glad my friend showed up. Roberta, I haven't seen you in months. I'm so happy to see you. There is nobody better than you. You're loyal. Oh, and, and, uh, you. you know, my, my best my best thing is, and I can say it really, is that when pe my friends come to see you, because I'm born and raised here, I have a following, and they get off on you. They just think, my God, he's so funny. I had no idea. Oh, well, that's, that's to them to I love working. You always put on a good show. So if well, you're going to do the pajama thing again, I want to be part of it. Well, you told me you won't wear pajamas. You'll wear a smoking jacket. Well, I'll wear something that'll be provocative. I just, <laughs> it, it, well, what if you sleep in the nude? <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> we're, we're trying to get customers, not scare them away. <laughs> we haven't got it. David, we haven't got a shot for that yet. We haven't got a <laughs> vaccination. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>